so the video you guys see in the background is a solo versus trio on the brand new map and funny enough i ended up dropping my pr during this gameplay so throughout this video i'm gonna give you guys so many gems that's gonna help you improve like you're literally gonna die less and get more kills like your kd is just gonna shoot up and to start this video off i want to give you guys the sauce for the best spot to drop at like what you guys are seeing right here out of these two buildings and then on your way to the buy station you're gonna hit i'm not even lying at least 20 crates out of this many crates you're almost guaranteed a uav you're definitely gonna have multiple precision airstrikes cluster strikes munition boxes ammo boxes like whatever you think you're gonna need you're gonna have it plus some and to make all this even sweeter i'm not even gonna get shot at not once like this is probably the most low-key spot that you can drop at and it's super safe i'm gonna let this part play out you're gonna see how much i walk out with until i get to the buy station now since money is kind of bugged on this map like i don't know why but money is scarce and plays are scarce so like i'm probably like one of the very first people in this lobby to actually get my loadout so now i can catch a lot of people off guard when i'm rotating out now from this buy station i like to head north there are so many people that fight in this small neighborhood up here and it just makes it so much easier getting kills off rip because like i said you have your loadout you already set the fight you have probably uav in the air while everybody else is still having ground guns probably not any plays 500 dollars to their name so as soon as you grab loadout you want to head north over here and i also want to say this like initially i was not a fan of this brand new map but after changing my play style and and wanting to get better and trying to figure it out like what's the best play style for it i think i figured it out and if you guys are on the same boat like if you don't like vondel right now just try out what i'm going to tell you in this video and let me know down in the comments if this helps you enjoy the map a little bit more obviously after you put these tips to use so we see this guy down low right now i'm already in my mind knowing what i'm gonna do it's a close quarter like room so you can't really like jump shot or you might accidentally mantle something or funny enough you might even hit your head on the ceiling and you might get like a bad jump trust me i had it happen before and you don't want that to happen but what i've been noticing that works for me most of the time and what i see a lot of warzone pros and even the cdl players do is doing a drop shot but also bunny hopping out of it like you get the craziest animation and it's so hard to defend it because it's just a glitchy move like at one point your character is prone less than a second after that your character is mid-air jumping now jumping out of this room we actually end up seeing a person so i tried to get behind cover to reach out after but he ended up running inside the building right so now i've been in this situation before where i'm actually tax sprinting chasing somebody and they just turn around and re-challenge me and i'm just dead just because of how slow this game is when you go from attack sprint to an ads so in a situation like that you either want to just ads up to them or just have your gun at your hip and now with these kills you guys are seeing there's not really much i can tell you a lot of these are just 1v1s i think i'm just doing a really good job of like singling people out from their teammates so i'm getting a lot of 1v1 fights like to me this is pretty much like the boring part but for some of you guys boring might be better because this comes from you being more prepared you have your loadout and you're fighting a lot of guys when you have an advantage because they don't really have much and also not to mention whenever you get a full kill you're also getting ping so you know exactly where they're at but just keep watching things will heat up and then that's when you know i can really start to explain a lot of my thought processes going into gunfights rotations and things like that I mean, you guys see the go-to move, drop shot, bunny hop. Every single time, especially on stairs, or if you're like walking through a doorway, I'm telling you guys right now, that works every single time. But I really want you guys to take notice of what I'm doing. You notice I'm never on the ground level fighting a team. I'm hardly ever getting any kills on the ground level unless I spawn there. Like when you guys are playing this brand new map, just treat it like you're playing the floor is lava. Never want to go to the bottom floor. I'm telling you guys right now, if you keep that in mind right there, you're gonna have so much success on this map and getting more kills, dying less. 
your, your KD's just gonna shoot up. That has been the number one thing I've noticed and that it's actually made me like this map a lot more than what I did before. But as we're pushing over here, I'm pretty much just holding out teams or at least trying to. So this part we can skip over. This guy scared the hell out of me. I don't know how he slid in there that fast, but that was crazy. I literally jumped in my seat when that happened. But, but another reason why I say to keep the high ground is because a lot of these buildings, they're like very small rooms or very small like hallways. So if you ever get caught in one of those against a uh, team of three or maybe you're just outgunned two, two to one, you have a very slim chance of when those gunfights are just coming out alive. So you better off just keeping your distance between buildings on top of rooftops from teams if they're like stacking together. Unless you can manipulate teams to like split up and uh, you know, pretty much just pick them off one by one. Like you guys see in today's video, like that's my main thing is like picking people off one by one, keeping high ground, and also keeping your distance. And then when it comes to this map, there's a few other tips that I wanna share with you guys. Like I said, stay out of close quarter rooms, stay out of hallways if you can. I know obviously you have to take the stairs to go up top, but just be careful when you do that and just try to be mindful of that because it can get ugly quick. Like the amount of camping that's going on and stacking that's going on right now because of it being a brand new map is crazy. It's even worse than on the Sheikah Island. And that's pretty much like the secret sauce right there. And that's what you guys see in today's game. Like I'm literally demonstrating all of this. Easy kill. Now this dude, he was just playing super careful. But guys like this that play super patient, you never want to lose patience first and just start doing dumb stuff and pushing recklessly it's like right here you guys seen i was about to full send him i was gonna throw that second seven text and just rush him but i decided to wait because i usually lose in gunfights like this i don't know how but decided to take our time and you guys see it's a claymore right there i'm looking to see if i have anything in my inventory i can throw in there and for some reason, I did not notice I had a munitions box. And now I seen that guy drop in over there, which is why I'm still focused over here. So I think what I do is just grab a UAV and get out of here because I don't know if this is the same team that kept sniping at me and they're like full sending me all together. No more second chances. Because like I said, you always want to keep your distance from teams. And if that's a full team that's really head hunting you, then there's not really much you can do in this game because of the lack of movement. Alright, now this is probably like my favorite part of the game, the end zone. Like this is when all the action happens. This is when you don't have to really rotate too much. Obviously, you have to rotate a little bit and you have to be more mindful on your rotations. But, you know, this is like where most of the action is at. And now for me, this is like, this is like a bird trying to find a tree to, to build their nest. Like you got to be very specific on what building you want and, you know, how you want it to be set up. So like for me initially when i'm going to the last zone i try to find the tallest point or like the tallest building in the zone that's preferably towards the edge of the the gas but now you know things can change if you were to find a building like we're gonna find you know a little bit later on you're gonna see why i changed buildings and also you know the next zone appears so it just made more sense to go with this building a little bit earlier than what i usually would and you guys are gonna see why this building is just perfect that i'm about to rotate to we're pretty much just sitting here until you know zone collapses trying to get easy picks on people rotating in late 
you know just boosting up our kill kill count and also another thing when you do this is like you can find like the weak links like the weak teams who may not have like a full squad or if they're like constantly getting pressured by another team or just other people in general like you can really start to see what team is really struggling and you know just capitalize off of it Yo, i had this team so scared so we ended up pa to try to get a thirst but it didn't work and we ended up sticking somebody with that and his teammates in the hallway or whatever room that was but now that I know I have two down, I can full send this up the staircase. Not giving them time to plate up or anything like that. Look at this guy panicking trying to jump through the window. He even started meleeing it. Like, bro, what are you doing? And now you guys remember what I said about, you know, a bird finding the perfect tree for its nest. This is one of the best spots I've ever been in, especially for like an end game on a, like a battle royale map. Because if you guys see, we have cover inside this main part of the building. We have a platform behind us if we need to fall back if we're getting pressured. And we also have a platform in front of us so we can get easy picks off third party and teams. And that's pretty much why I just camp here until we're forced to move out. And now since i'm playing solo i know a lot of you guys will never play solo versus trio or quads which is fine these rules still apply if you have a full team but since i'm playing solo that means that i have to be more aware of making sure i'm watching my six as well as you know trying to get easy picks from in front of me that's why i'm always getting a knock and i'm looking around for the next person or i may you know get a kill and then run back to the gas to watch my back just in case anybody's flanking up you know i'm just taking those extra steps to ensure that i make it towards the end of the game and at least give myself a, a chance to win. But if you guys have a full team, then you don't really have to be as paranoid as I am. Or maybe you do. Maybe you guys just don't have teammates that actually have a brain. So you, you got to be the leader for, for everybody. So now we have this whole roof to ourselves. This is just us getting picks or just getting free kills now. Because we don't really have to worry about people flanking us now. Because for the most part, people aren't really that smart to like do flanks in the gas. At least in public matches. So you don't really got to worry about it. So now we're just rotating the zone, but we're keeping high ground. If you guys don't know how to do that Superman jump yet, all you do is tag sprint, dolphin dive, and then spam your jump button. You guys are going to pull out a parachute. And you're able to hit a lot of jumps that you normally wouldn't be able to. So we didn't get uh so we didn't get zone but that's no problem ended up being a guy right here so we just climb up because once again we don't know how many are under us just maintain that high ground and now since we have a gold gas i wanted to wait out a little bit to let that team make their move or just rotate in and now right here bro i was so pissed that this happened to me this was actually my last game of the day and this this one right here forced me to get off i tried to mantle over this this railing right here and for some reason it just made me slide off it like i don't know if you're not able to mantle over there or get the option to mantle over it but yeah this one did it because this one would have been an easy win i would just refollow my steps i would have took the high ground on that cable right there make sure i was at a tall enough building get a pick look for the next ones and yeah man this would have been it 